Well, it all started with a 4-H program, and uh, I was the sixth generation to grow up um, in Washtenaw County, Oklahoma, on a, on a family farm that's been in my family for 100 years, and had an opportunity to be involved in the 4-H program where I got to, to meet a lot of young leaders that were, um, um, that were interested in the same things that I was interested in, that uh, came from an agricultural background, that was interested in making our, our small towns and our hometowns a better place. And, uh, and as, as I grew in that organization, um, the vast majority of those 4-H and FFA leaders, um, we wind up here in the College of Agriculture. Uh, at OSU, and it's uh, it's the was the best place for me to be, and it's the best place for uh, um, most 4-H and FFA members to end up. Um, I studied agricultural economics, and uh, for somebody who wants to work in rural development, who uh, wants to help um, um, small towns and, and rural communities across the state of Oklahoma to, to prosper, um, having an opportunity to understand what is rural Oklahoma's number one industry, agriculture is, is really important in that. And having an opportunity to uh, uh, to get to be in an environment where um, if if you want to be a, if you want to be a leader in rural Oklahoma, um, you need to be in the College of Agricultural Sciences, Natural Resources here at OSU. Um, that's the that's the place where um, where we all gravitated to. And so my time here at OSU um, had an opportunity to have a, an incredible classroom experience, but also had a really good opportunity to get to meet um, to to get to meet and become really good friends. Uh, with a lot of the same people that I work with and the work that I do on a daily basis across rural Oklahoma. Um, my grandpa inspired me to, to take this career path. Um, I will, uh, will, will never forget, again, I'm sixth generation to, to, to grow up in the, in the same place. And uh, my grandfather, as, as he looked back on, on uh, the 72 years that, that he was on earth in, in his later days and, and talking about the history of our family farm, um, one of the most significant pieces of history in our family farm was the day that uh, uh, the Rural Electrification Administration, our local rural electric cooperative, uh, back in about 1948 or 49, provided that first electric line uh, to our family farm. And uh, people in people in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, you know, they'd had electricity for 50 years um, before we finally had an opportunity to to uh, get electricity to our farm. And, and what was so important to that? And, and not only did having access to electricity allow him to be a, to be a better farmer, um, but it also provided an opportunity for him to provide a better life for his family, for his wife, my grandmother, for my mother, his daughter, um, to allow them to have a washing machine, to allow them to have lights in the house and and uh, to be able to, to more easily have running water and all of those sorts of things. So it was a matter of wanting to, uh, wanting to provide a good quality of life for his family. And the job that I am in today um, provides that very service that he was so proud of uh, that he received back in 1949. Um, I have an opportunity to be one of those, those folks that work behind the scenes to provide, uh, to provide the infrastructure that, um, that uh, our small towns and our farmers and ranchers need uh, to be able to have a good quality of life. <laughs> it, it would be that um, life is not going to turn out anything like you have it, like you have it planned right now. Um, when I was um, um, when I was started here at OSU, um, I, I had a pretty good idea of, of what I wanted to do. I knew that uh, um, I knew that I wanted to to be able to to maintain my family's farm. I knew that I wanted to have an, an exciting career that where I could work with with rural communities and then small towns and and be a part of uh, be a part of our work in rural development. But um, and and I thought I had ideas of exactly what job. Jobs I would go to, um, and kind of the progression that, that would happen that uh, would allow me to do that. Um, and, and in the end, it was my, my career has turned out nothing like I envisioned, uh, which is a good thing um, because one of the things that I, I've discovered is that um, um, life is while well, while it's good to set goals and, and it's good to uh, uh, it's good to have your um, uh, you know, looking at uh, what jobs you think you want. Um, in the end, life's a lot more exciting if you just if you go in and, and and you work hard and you're passionate about what you do and you take any any single opportunity, even if it's a, even if it's a little outside the box of what you thought that you might want to do in life. If, if there's something that's that's interesting and you're passionate about it and and it, it, it inspires you, 
um, you should go over there and try that. And uh, um, in the end, um, you'll, you'll, I think you'll end up in a much better place than you thought you'd ever be. Dr. Sanders' natural resource economics class um, was, I think I took that probably my, my sophomore year. And uh, it, is a, it is a class that for um, those of us that, uh, that, that come from small towns, that come from the family farms, is a, is a course that really, um, that really challenges the way that, um, um, that you've always thought that you would approach economics and, and really challenge the, um, challenge the assumptions of being a, of, of being a farmer, rancher, agriculturalist, of, of how you're supposed to approach the world. Um, it was really a, uh, was really a, a thought provoking course that, um, um, I, I think back to often. And as I'm, as, as I encounter information that, uh, um, is a little bit outside the norm of, of what I would be expecting. Um, really, um, really kind of changed the way I, I think about things to to be more accepting of 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 other ideas and other concepts that um, I don't necessarily have a natural inclination for. So I, I guess in a lot of ways that's that's a course that um, it challenged me. Uh, it challenged me and it taught me to bet. It taught me to be a better thinker.